Welcome. I'm Pussyfoot for Libra Musica. We're sitting here with Vaughn Phoenix from Howling Star. Yes. And we're here to find out who the hell is Vaughn Phoenix. Run my house torn down. Jazz faces, jazz faces. More buses, stop the racing. Ramp right with Vaughn Phoenix. Is that your real name? Yes. <laughs> your mom gave you that name. <laughs> I gave you that name. Where do you come from? Originally I'm from uh, Birmingham, Germany. Uh, military brat. Uh, my parents were uh, in the military for, I guess, uh, maybe like 20 years, both in the military, so that's how my childhood was. They're super cool, but definitely military. So, you do a lot of stuff. You do a lot of things around Atlanta. Uh, one of them is Punk Black, right? Oh yeah. Uh, Punk Black is um, we're more so becoming a media network uh, this year, but over the last three years, we just, uh, it's just a show that's like, amongst people of color every month. How did Punk Black start? How did you guys come about? Uh, it was, I always remember the dates, May 22nd, 2015, uh -huh. it, was our, it was our first show at uh, uh, House of Lotus, really, really cool house at the time. We originally started it because we were trying to get a vote because we were trying to go around the world for bands, <laughs> as far as how it started. And once we had the show, it was one of those like weird, epiphany things. Uh, we're at the show, before we play, I'm looking around and all the people there, just like, we really, really need this in the scene. And everybody's just like, I'm so glad you guys are doing this. And I was like, holy shit, we need to doing this. Um, you know, it's what's needed. Great to come to the events and you see all these people dressed in their fullest inner selves. Oh, yeah. I think I've met some of my uh, favorite people at Punk Black, actually. I don't know if this would be this, this would be weird to say, but I don't know if we have an anti fuckboy aura that uh, <laughs> goes around on Punk Black, but I love it, actually. Okay, so Howling Star, you guys put on a very energetic mosh fit, get down in your ass kind of show. <laughs> I enjoy it. And, and somebody wears a wolf mask. Oh yeah, hilarious enough, um, his name is Wolf. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's crazy because um, when, uh, when Colt was in the band, people thought the person with the wolf mask was Colt. I did. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, <laughs> like, oh, this Colt. And I was like, but no. Colt's like a little taller, he's like, he's like a little bigger, and, um, and he has like, this huge afro. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, people still are uh, getting confused because they said because Colt has like a fro and he has like a beard. They're like, we figured he would be a wolf since he was so hairy. Yeah. All right, Bob Phoenix, Howard Star. It's on the punk spectrum, really mosh pity kind of music. Now, if uh, you could tell a story and your music was a fairy tale, right? What fairy tale would it be? Uh, as far as uh, Howard Star? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say we were something on the lines of uh, of Gundam, Gundam Wing. I would imagine like sort of like space pirate battles. Oh damn! Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, like uh, for me, um, Howard Star would be like a would be a ship, a ship called the Howard Star. I've uh -huh. actually started working on a logo for this too. Uh, Howard Star would be the ship, and we would be his crew members. And, you know, we we sort of just sort of like a band of mercenaries, all of us just doing what we're doing, you know, kind of like the bebop. Uh, yeah, we would just help out people who can, sort of Guardians of the Galaxies, and sort of like take what we want when it's like, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe from like bad people, corporations or something, uh -huh. like, like sort of Robin Hood sort of thing, maybe something along to that. So like Gundam Wing and Robin Hood combined. You are at the zoo, playing this kick-ass gig with Holly Star, You're shredding it right now, and all of a sudden, out of the peripheral of your vision, you see an animal charging at you. What animal is it, and why is it chasing? Oh man, uh, this would be like a sort of a cool twist, okay. and not a ride too much on the Black Panther thing. But hopefully, it'd be a Black Panther. <laughs> hopefully, it was chasing me, not because it wanted to eat me or or kill me or anything like that, but it was trying to chase me because it was trying to give me some Black Panther powers. That'd be really cool. Uh, maybe I was trying to run away because I was like, you know, holy shit, there's a Black Panther chasing me. I mean, I wouldn't be like, oh, well, well done, you know, give me some powers. I'd probably run. Yeah. Uh, that's probably what would happen. Your new single, Jen, that you released last year, rocks, awesome song, but it also has a message, right? Definitely. We're speaking out against a lot of the gentrification going on in Atlanta, 
Uh, there's a lot of venues, unfortunately, that are closing down you know, because of gentrification. Yeah. You know, people are buying up all these, you know, all these spaces and trying to, you know, push up, push up less money out. Which, I mean, of course, is you know, not cool for anybody who's middle class or more. So, what shows do you have coming? Uh, we have the sixth and the seventh. Uh, the sixth with, you know, the badass is Concrete God. Yeah. And the seventh with the, the badass Zero, uh, Zero of Black Fire Nine. Uh, our next show we're doing as far as Punk Black will be on the 19th. Uh -huh. It'll be at 5 to 9. And that's going to be a crazy, crazy good show. So, Punk Black, Howling Star, Vaughn Phoenix, so much fun hanging with you, eating lunch with you as usual, building community. Tell everybody where they can find your music and more information about Howling Star. Uh, for Howling Star, you can check us out on thestarscalling.com. Oh, that's it. Got it. You can check us out on the starscalling.com uh, or look us up on Facebook. There's nothing else. There's, uh, that's COVID safe. There's no Howling Star toasters or anything like that. If you type Howling Star on Google, it'll be the first thing that popped up. It's been great hanging with people on, as usual, here at My Parents' Basement in Avondale Six. And for Libro Music Hub, this is Missy Foot, hashtag Music Life. We'll see you next time.